assalamu alaikum friends hope all of you are fine and doing well today in this video i am going to discuss the muscles of the knee there are two major movements that occur in knee joint knee flexion and knee extension those muscles that are involved in knee flexion and knee extension will be discussed in this video so watch this video till the end let's start this video first of all flexors of the knee semi tendinosis muscle semi tendinosis origin ischial tuberosity the muscle in green is the semi tendinosis its origin from ischial tuberosity and insertion per part of the medial surface of tibia upper part of medial surface of the tibia and the action is knee flexion hip extension and medial rotation of the tibia and femur the muscle in green is semi tendinosus the second flexor of the knee is semi membranosus its origin also from ischial tuberosity the muscle in green is semi membranosus its origin from ischial tuberosity and insertion posterior aspect of medial tibial condyle posterior aspect of medial tibial condyle action knee flexion hip extension and medial rotation of the tibia the muscle in green is semi membranosus the third muscle that is involved in knee flexion is biceps femoris it consists of two heads long head and short head long head origin from ischial tuberosity and sacrotuberous ligament short head origin from the lateral supracondylar line of the femur its insertion head of fibula and lateral tibial condyle this is the biceps femoris muscle all three muscles biceps femoris semi tendinosus and semi membranosus also called hamstring muscle the action of biceps femoris muscle knee flexion hip extension and lateral rotation of the tibia its nerve supply from the sciatic nerve now the fourth muscle that is involved in knee flexion is gastrocnemius muscle it has two heads medial head and lateral head the medial head origin from posterior part of medial femoral condyle posterior part of medial femoral condyle and the lateral head lateral surface of the lateral femoral condyle lateral surface of lateral femoral condyle its insertion posterior surface of calcaneus bone posterior surface of calcaneus bone its nerve supply tibial nerve action knee flexion and plantar flexion the muscle in green is gastrocnemius muscle then gracilis muscle its origin from lower half of the body inferior ramus of the pubis and insertion upper part of medial surface of tibia the muscle in green is gracilis muscle knee flexion adduction of the hip and medial rotation of the tibia nerve supply obturator nerve sartorius muscle that is the flexor of knee joint its origin from anterior superior iliac spine and insertion upper part of medial surface of tibia 
origin from anterior superior iliac spine and insertion or upper part of medial side of the tibia action hip flexion and knee flexion and hip abduction nerve supply femoral nerve and plantaris muscle which is the knee flexor origin from lateral supracondylar ridge oblique popliteal ligament the muscle in green is plantaris its origin from lateral supracondylar ridge and popliteal ligament its insertion on tendocalcaneus insertion on tendocalcaneus action plantar flexion and knee flexion its nerve supply tibial nerve yes muscle that is the last muscle of knee flexion origin outer surface of lateral femoral condyle the muscle in green outer surface of lateral femoral condyle and insertion posterior surface of tibia above soleal line posterior surface of tibia above the soleal line action knee flexion and medially rotation of tibia nerve supply tibial nerve in first part of the video we discuss about the flexors of the knee the muscles that involve in knee flexion let's start the second part of the video in which we discuss about the muscles that involve in the knee extension the first muscle that is involved in knee extension is rectus femoris rectus femoris has two heads straight head and reflected head the straight head origin from anterior inferior iliac spine straight head origin from anterior inferior iliac spine and reflected head origin area above acetabulum capsule of the hip joint the insertion of rectus femoris muscle is base of the patella the base of the patella the muscle in green is the rectus femoris muscle action knee extension and hip flexion nerve supply femoral nerve the muscle in green is rectus femoris muscle vastus intermedius the muscle that is involved in knee extension its origin from upper two third of anterior and lateral surface of femur and lower part of the lateral intramuscular septum its insertion deep surface of quadriceps tendon and lateral border of patella and lateral tibial condyle insertion of vastus intermedius on the quadriceps tendon lateral surface of the patella and the lateral tibial condyle the muscles involved in knee extension and the nerve supply is femoral nerve third muscle that is involved in knee extension is vastus lateralis its origin from intertrochanteric line greater trochanter gluteal tuberosity lateral lip of linea aspera and insertion on the tendon of rectus femoris lateral border of the patella this is the vastus lateralis muscle its action knee extension and nerve supply femoral nerve then the fourth muscle that is involved in knee extension is vastus medialis its origin from intertrochanteric line spiral line medial lip of linea aspera and medial supracondylar line insertion tendon of rectus femoris medial border of patella and medial tibial condyle this is the vastus medialis muscle its action 
knee extension and nerve supply femoral nerve then the last muscle that is involved in the knee extension tensor facial lata that's origin from outer lip of iliac crest between iliac tubercle and anterior superior iliac spine muscle in green is tensor facial lata is origin from outer lip of iliac crest and anterior superior iliac spine its insertion on iliotibial tract the iliotibial tract is present here its insertion is on the iliotibial tract and the action knee extension abduction and medial rotation of the hip its nerve supply superior gluteal nerve thanks for watching this video